Hi, I'm Tamara from Craftsmart and today we're doing a resin art clock with the Craftsmart liquid gloss paint. We have a timber clock base here, which we've put a straw into the centre and this is just to avoid the resin closing up the hole here. We've sealed off the clock base with the Craftsmart glaze paste. So we have some clock hands and clock numbers. We also have the clock moving mechanism, which goes on from behind. What you need to do first of all is raise the clock base up from the surface, making sure it's as level as possible. And we want to pour out equal quantities of the liquid gloss in part A and part B. We're then going to pour one into the other. Now the resin will go cloudy and it will create some air bubbles when you're mixing. Once you've mixed for around two minutes, and then divide your resin up. We're going to use an acrylic silver, an oil-based purple and a white pearl powder. So we're just going to divide the resin up now. So the white pearl powder, we're just going to need a small amount of that into the resin. Same with the silver, just a small amount. And the purple. Give them a good mix. Make sure that the colour is mixed through thoroughly. You can either pick the board up and move it around and let it flow, or you can actually get your spatula and move it like so. So making sure that the full board's covered, and then you can either start manipulating with the stick further, you can tilt the board up. Because you've poured the silver over the top of the purple, you'll see in this section here what we call a little bit of lacing. So the silver is actually going to separate from the purple a little bit and this would be because the silver was an acrylic and the purple was an oil base. I'm going to take my gloves off and we're just going to do a little butane torch, get rid of some of these air bubbles. You need to go over the surface, that flame not quite touching, but in a circular motion and not staying in the one place. Having a look at a couple of different angles to make sure that you can't see any more air bubbles. So we want to get close to that straw but not too close. So just watch your flame and where the bubbles are bursting on the resin and just get as close as possible. Just grab the resin from off the base, so off the surface of the table. Move that along the edge. So once you've finished doing these edges, you can then go back over with a butane torch. What I'm going to do first is just throw this white pigment pearl powder through just to give it a little bit of an extra sheen. Just let that run. We're just going to let the highlights come in off the stick and do its own thing. Just run off the stick. Again, flame close to the surface but not touching. Now this will keep running for at least another couple of hours and it will be touch dried about 18 to 24 hours. The straw will be able to come out closer to 48 hours and then you can put your mechanisms in at 48 hours. So here's the finished resin art clock, perfect for any living area or kitchen.